Hello all, I'm Dave from Access, and here's our look at the PlayStation Store update on August the 28th, 2013. First up and available to download today is the even more epic than usual Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. This is a massively multiplayer instalment of the world's biggest role-playing series, which makes it a game that can only be described as massive big. Your job is to build a custom character, make them look sweeping and graceful, choose whether they're good at magic or war, and then save the world. Which, as it's massive big, will take ages, so you best get started. Also in need of saving is the icy tundra of Lost Planet 3, which hits the store this Friday. Specifically, this prequel sees mining operations on the snowy surface of Eden 3 hindered by an army of insectoid aliens, and our sources suggest a wave of aggressively flirtatious penguins. I want to be clear, there ain't nothing funny about sex in a penguin. Well, there is a bit though. Why not take to the high seas in One Piece Pirate Warriors 2, a yarring hack slasher with the happiest music in the world. Yeah, let's stab some dudes in this friendly cartoon adventure. Expect Dynasty Warriors but with pirates and expect it this Friday. Meanwhile on the video store from immediately is gun hungry action blockbuster Olympus Has Fallen, which is secret service code for North Korea are all up in the White House with rockets. Luckily, also all up in the White House is Gerard Butler's lone good guy, who puts the emotional trauma of a laboured backstory behind him to go die hard on everyone who isn't the president. Lastly, but definitely money-savingly, the store continues to host a bunch of awesome sales. The Assassin's Creed sale offers up to 50% off various games and DLC from Ubisoft's historical stabber, the PlayStation Memory sale moves into its final stages on PS Vita, and the Indie sale is offering up to 60% off indie gems like Dyad, rocket-powered battle cars, Dollar Dash, and more. Please remember that all store content is subject to change, and that you can browse and buy everything we've mentioned and much more without even needing your PlayStation by visiting store.sonyentertainmentnetwork.com. For full details of this week's store update, head over to the PlayStation blog and subscribe to Access on YouTube for more videos like this one.